So now in this video, I'm going to show you how to add the volume to your basic skeleton of your um, wire sculpture. So you see that I'm just repeating that process that I showed you in the first video of using wire to create ovals, which are the basic shape of my bird's body. So I'm just putting the wire through those loops that I had created previously, and I'm going to make a bunch of them in order to show the volume and mass of the bird. And I'm also going to do the same process for the bird's head. So once I feel like I have several lines of wire to kind of show the mass, I can then do the same thing for the head and make that a little bit more 3D. So it's not just basic lines, it's going to become more dimensional. So using a combination of my hands to twist the wire and the pliers to help me to really tighten things up, I'm just continuing to add more wire. Now that I have the basic size and shape to give the bird's body more strength, I'm going to use wire and go in opposite directions. So instead of just going like horizontally, now I'm looping it around to kind of make it more vertical to create like a real cage for the bird's body. Doing this gives the sculpture more strength so it's not just a flimsy, floppy object. So I'm gonna wrap wire around and around and then kind of weave through, like weave in and out of the existing wire to create that more stable form. You notice that I keep putting it back on my picture just to kind of size it, make sure I have the, the basic sizes accurately done. Now I'm adding on some wire to create the tail. So I've just connected some wire to the bird, to the end of the bird. Um, I made it like a loop. So I'm measuring out basically what I think is the shape of the tail. I'm gonna make a bunch of them so it looks more like feathers. And once I have those completed, I will attach those to the bird's body. So hopefully you are starting to see my bird emerging from the wire, looking similar to my picture. I will continue to show you in the next video, the next steps to create your sculpture.